Today, I'm going to present you five essential survival tips for season five mind map. <laughs> The very first survival skill you're gonna need is driving. So get yourself a driver's license with a bit of a drifting skills and don't be afraid of speed. You can drive up to 70 miles per hour with that car. So seat pads on guys and let's rock. As a passenger, keep in mind that it's not allowed to vomit into the car. So in that case, you need to lean out of the window and then, okay? Keep that in mind. The second essential survival tip for the new mind map is cliff climbing. So there are situations where the best and easiest way is like upwards and you need to practice that. You need to climb, okay? In case you want to practice that, play only up. The difference though is that in case you fall down in arena breakout, you're gonna die, you're gonna lose everything. Other than that, it's pretty much the same. Essential survival tip number three is your parkour skills. So hop over to Paris or New York or Tokyo and start climbing the rooftops, start jumping around because you're gonna benefit from that skill on the new map. There are some heights, there are some rooftops. So get ahead of your enemy, get into position and get those skills. Essential survival tip number four is getting a hunting certificate. I know many of you don't even have permission to use guns, but that's okay. But here on the new map, if you have a hunting certificate, I can guarantee you that you're gonna benefit from that because you will learn how to stay silent, how to stay hidden for minutes for hours without getting spotted. I cannot guarantee you that you're gonna find the body you are dropping from thousand meters away. So I recommend you to get yourself a dog, a hunting dog who then can support you locating the enemy's body. The final fifth essential survival tip is running. Like you could be doing a marathon in real life, but you can also train your character to get better. You could hop in any of the maps like farm, valley or mine. All you wanna do is to run from one side of the map to the other side. And if you gain some practice, you can try running backwards and stuff like that. Energy drinks will definitely help you and steroid injections, of course, and exercise. I'm planning to open the first shady gym in Kamuna soon, but I'm not there yet. I'm, I'm seeking for investors. Enough shady of sarcastic humor. Let's talk about real stuff. So now that we covered the essential survival tips for mine, by the way, just so you know, I don't really like the map. This is why I'm presenting it like that. But I love everything else we're gonna get in season five. We're gonna have nice new guns. For example, the M249 light machine gun and also the RPD, which kind of falls into the same category. Then we're gonna have a new SMG called MCX, which is a hybrid of assault rifle and MPX. And we're gonna have a new affordable lightweight AK-12 gun as well. With this anniversary update, guys, we're gonna have new modes. And there is one specifically I'm very hyped about. I hope we're gonna get it soon enough. It's the team elimination. It's something different. It's something new. It's team versus team. I didn't have a chance to play it or try it or see it. And this is something the community has been begging for for months already so i'm really really truly happy that we're gonna get that besides this we're gonna have new modes like the mine isolation we're gonna have forbidden zone for northridge and maybe even for valley and farm i don't have the details but i hope we're gonna have forbidden for every single map that would be amazing especially in terms of loot we're gonna have tons of new items purple items common items trash items you're gonna find on the map and we're gonna have a new melee weapon a shower which is gonna be funny in my opinion like like think about the situation where you're like chasing an enemy like <laughs> just with a shower yeah, it's gonna be fun. We have a new med kit, by the way, which allows you to fix your broken limbs and you can move. You can move while you're using that. I hope it's not a bug. I had that yesterday on mine and I really hope it's not just a bug. I can move while fixing my broken leg. 
We're gonna have tons of new anniversary events such as the Fortune Seeker and 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 many more I'm not aware of, but I'm sure we're gonna have tons of events. We're also gonna get optimization changes, which means bye bye dum dums da 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 dum dums. No, I think that's not the case. Maybe they're gonna be slightly nerfed or adjusted, but I think it's not the end of dum dums. Hi Shady, first of all, happy to have you here. And I wanna ask you to summarize your feelings regarding season five and share it with the viewers, okay? Thank you, bro, and nice to be here. So first of all, I don't mm -hmm. really like the new map, but I yep. like everything else we are getting in season five. And let me explain. The, the arena breakout team is on fire. They keep adding new stuff, new maps, nice. new modes, new guns and everything. And I'm sure that everybody in the community is gonna find that game mode, that gun, they're gonna truly love. I love the game. I think it's really mind blowing. So I'm very proud that I can be one of the official Arena Breakout creators. Shoot, loot, subscribe.